Wow, Bitcoin finds resistance right at this sloping line that matches up perfectly with the 50 day moving average. Guys, this is like the eighth time in the past two weeks we have tried to break through this line. Will we be able to or will we get a rejection? And as well, Bitcoin actually finding resistance right on this middle line, as you can see, bouncing right here yesterday afternoon. Absolutely crazy. We'll take a look at this chart. And again, clearly Bitcoin bouncing right on this line, right at the 6,400. We've been saying that for two weeks, we've been looking at that target. So now that it's happened, does that mean anything substantial? Well, we never even visit that area again. And as well, even after an 80% rally, there are two huge reasons that have nothing to do with technical analysis as to why this Bitcoin market could be getting absolutely bullish very soon. Wow, take a seat, now let's drop the beat. Well, welcome back to another mind-numbing episode, guys. This one is gonna leave you absolutely speechless. I am particularly excited about the two topics and data that we're gonna be talking about at the end of this video about why this market could be just getting started. There's some very fundamental reasons, very interesting. And the price action as well today has been absolutely nuts. So let me know what you think. And guys, make sure if you want to enter for these ledgers, we're going to be giving away one of these bad boys very soon, actually. Uh, leave a comment below. Drop your dings, drop the comments, and drop the likes, and let's do this. Wow. So if we start on the daily chart here on Coinbase, you can see, guys, this has been one of our favorite charts. Uh, we got rejected on this line yesterday. We got rejected on this line. We found support and bounced on this line, and now we're finding resistance right at this 20, this 50 day moving average. Now this is absolutely huge. If we zoom in, you can see literally we're right on that line. So what are the chances we break out of it, guys? We have been testing this line all the way since April 7th. So nine entire days that we've been trying to get above this line, trying so hard and just getting rejected over and over and over again. So what are the chances we actually break up above here? And guys, I mean, let's be honest, to the downside, every time we get pushed back, we're finding some pretty good support. So that's another really uh, positive sign, I think, that we can look forward to. Now, I actually want to switch over to this chart. So this is one we were talking about yesterday. Got a lot of interesting comments about this, actually. Um, but primarily, guys, we are still right within this line, which, again, is this wedge. This is the wedge. So on the downside, our pullback area for a major pullback was pretty low, remember, all the way down to like 5,003, 5,400. But it looks as though we just really desperately want to get above this line. We're clearly above the 21 uh, and we're between the 20 and the 50. You can see that here. We're still squeezing between the 50 and the 21. And I think the price action is really, again, building up. That's why I posted the video yesterday with like 48 hours to go. I think this move is going to be, I mean, we got a huge swing overnight, but I think the move we're going to get is even bigger. Okay. So I think we're going to get an even bigger move. And now uh, that's mainly what I want to focus on in regard to that. A lot of support below us. Uh, we got to be honest about that. There's a lot of support below us. We've been on a nice rally ever since this big dump, but it looks like the momentum could still be pushing upwards. And it definitely will be over the past two or over the next two to three months, in my opinion. And as well, this is actually really key, I think. So this channel, yet again, guys, this was, uh, this was our video from yesterday. Um, since then, we actually found support right on this line as we were talking about yesterday, but we've actually gotten a mega bounce now. And where are we finding resistance? You guessed it, right in the middle line, so the next line. So ideally, if we would get a bounce here, we might come into strong resistance around 7,400 US dollars. That would make a lot of sense, I think. But I think right here is just such a such an important area, and I'm not sure if we're necessarily going to just moon shot out of it right now. So if we take this horizontally and look all the way back, we don't have a lot of price price history right around this level specifically uh, over the past month. You can see it was coming up to it here, coming up to it, broke it, and then completely went below it here. We found actually some first initial resistance there, uh, and then some right here. But again, guys, it's been a little tricky. This will be a pretty big break if we actually break 7,000 concretely, but we have to wait for that. I think a really good confirmation would be about 72 uh, to 73, but 71 is probably not going to do it. We're going to need to break at least 72, I think. And as well, this is huge, guys. So this is posted on newsbtc.com by Nick Chong. He says, even after an 80% rally, the data shows Bitcoin's bull run is just beginning. Before we really dive into that, guys, make sure if you're wanting a ledger and you don't want to wait for these giveaways, make sure to hit that link in the comments in the description and you can get a ledger. There's some really good deals going on. Quite a few guys actually checked that out, I saw. So very nice. So back to the article, there's a growing sentiment that recent weakness is a sign there will soon be a strong bearish reversal back to the lows. But according to a crypto analytics firm, a key signal that marked the start of 2019's bull run that went from $3,000 to $14,000 has appeared yet again. And this may suggest bulls are ready to continue to push 
Bitcoin higher. According to data shared by Glassnode, a leading crypto metrics provider yesterday, there's been a strong increase in the number of daily new entities on the Bitcoin network. So here we have the, the tweet right here, but basically the metric seven day moving average calculates the numbers of new users entering Bitcoin's network has risen from 6,000 just about uh, a month ago to over 17,000 just within the past month, an increase in about 200% in a few weeks time. Now, why is this important? It's important because as the metric hasn't been high, it hasn't been that high since April 2019. And you guys remember what happened in April 2019. Bitcoin went from 3,000 to 14,000, basically. You can see it pictured here, 3,000 all the way to 14,000 in a very, very short, very quick amount of time. Also as well, fundamentally growing interest in Bitcoin, this is number two, uh, is coinciding with bull runs makes sense. More people interested in crypto means more buying pressure, which correlates with higher prices as the increased demand causes dynamic, uh, unlikely enough supply at a certain price to keep a market satisfied. Should historical precedent be upheld, a rally could ultimately follow. Okay, according to data from SKU.com, after yet another series of prints, the value of all circulating USDT or Tether supply has risen to 6.7 billion, 2.2 billion higher than the approximately 4.5 billion at the start of March. So that's not the only influx of new arrivals into cryptocurrency that could be a boom. So we have we have that and we also have this USDT being printed. Now this is interesting here, you can see this red line, you can see a sharp spike up. This is uh, Tether, and you can see after that happened, price went absolutely nuts. And you guys, what do we have here? Spike up in Tether, absolutely huge there. Could that signal something similar? The first metric combined with this USDT news, could we see a big pump because of that within like the next month or two? Prior to nearly 50% crash in November of 2018, that saw Bitcoin plunge from 6,000 to uh, about 3,000. The amount of Tether in circulation fell by hundreds of millions. And prior to the majority of 2019's crypto rally was the printing of hundreds of, of USDT, which is basically the graph right there that we just showed you. This quirky indicator suggests crypto market could continue to trend higher due, due to the influx of USDT demand. So guys, what do you think? Do you think we could see another massive gain? Let's actually do it from the lows to the highs there. That was about 331%. Now let's take it from the lows. Uh, let's take it instead of the swing low there. Let's do it from this low. So let's do 330% to see what that looks like. Let's see how crazy that would look. Wow, that'd be 23,000, which actually coincidentally is a target people have been talking about recently, uh, slightly over the all-time highs. So around 20 to 25,000 US dollars uh, is a target that a lot of people have been talking about being realistic for the year 2020. And obviously, guys, 2021 and over, then we could possibly see hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, for Bitcoin price. But in 2020, it's not likely that we would see that. We wouldn't see $100,000 Bitcoin in 2020. Maybe, uh, maybe if things get absolutely nuts, but that's not super realistic. But this level of 23, 25,000 is completely reasonable in my opinion this year, specifically the last uh, two quarters of this year. I think it's very likely. So, you know, two months away, probably most likely in my opinion, I think that makes a lot of sense. So with those factors all combining there and the price action potentially getting ready to uh, to burst up, what do you guys think? Do you think 23, 25,000 uh, breaking the all-time highs is very realistic? And one final thing I wanted to add to this chart was just this flag that seemingly could have been over recently, okay? Basically, if we break this line, uh, if it's going to be over, in fact, we're actually right back in the middle of this. So that could mean that this pattern continues on for longer. But, but again, I definitely think that... What we're most likely going to see in the next, you know, in the short term, in the next few days um, is actually a price pump. Now, we don't want it to happen really on the weekend because we're, currently it's Thursday, so we're less than like 48 hours from it being on the weekend. Uh, some of you guys might not care about the gaps, but I think the CMA gaps, I think it's just better if we... Uh, it's better if we don't have uh, huge moves on the weekend, in my opinion. Last weekend, at the at the very end of the weekend, we actually had a pretty big drop. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've gone up and we've actually uh, done pretty good since then. This is what happened basically at the end of last weekend, all the way down to like 65. And now currently we're at 7,000 as I'm filming this. So, again, curious what you guys think. Maybe we could even get a pump ideally tomorrow, Friday. That would be great. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait and see what the market does. Hopefully the weekends kind of stay a little bare. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the comments and ledgers if you're interested and let's do this.